There's no time for introductions in this week's dispatch. There's just too much news to cover. Firstly, IAPA, the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, held their expo in Orlando last week, and it was seemingly a great success. Lots of new things were shown off or announced at the expo, including, but not limited to, Funspot Atlanta's new RMC. They revealed a trailer for the new ride named Airy Force One, I hope it is. I hope I said that right even. Uh, alongside the coaster's lead car, which looked interesting. Included within the trailer were all of the attraction's stats. It's uh, 3,400 feet long, that's 1,063 meters. 150 foot high, 47 meters. 83 degree drop, top speed of 64 miles per hour, 103 kilometers per hour, and three inversions. The layout looks pretty neat, passing over buildings and subjecting guests to lots of airtime. It also features North America's longest zero-g stall, which is awesome. The entire ride has a loose space theme, which is reflected within the train's interesting design as well. Ride Entertainment also unveiled a new ride of theirs too. Palindrome, a Gerstler Infinity Coaster, will be coming to Cotaland Cot Cot in Texas in the United States. The ride is expected to open in late 2022 and is truly a one-of-a-kind coaster. Palindrome firstly completes its layout forwards, navigating two inversions and passing over a busy road in the process. Then guests will climb a spike, then guests will climb a spike, allowing them to complete the entire ride but backwards, hence the name. Gerstlauer said, we are thrilled to be able to bring the first Infinity Shuttle Coaster to the United States, and I'm very sure that when guests ride it, they'll be thrilled too. Next up, it's Zamperla. Zamperla had a huge presence at IAPA, showing off their lightning coaster trains as well as their new Family Thrill launch coaster model. The company says that the model is capable of multiple launches, dead-end track moments, reverse sections, and even more. The ride can also be paired with various train designs, including ones that resemble dune buggies, a sidecar, or motorbikes. Meanwhile, at Intamin, they launched a new model too, the Dome Ride Theatre. Well, it does what it says on the tin, really. It's a dome theatre with a ride inside. <laughs> Guests board a unique ride system, according to Intamin, which is basically a very big circle. This circle can like tilt and spin, providing guests with a unique sensation of forces. The ride utilizes LED panels to provide a truly immersive 360 degree video, which means that every seat gets a slightly different experience. It also features 4D effects like wind, scent and vibrations, similar to your traditional flying theater, but you know, it's a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Some deals have also been going on at IAPA too. Wallaby Roan Alps signed a contract with Intamin to build a new roller coaster at their park in 2024. This is part of an ongoing expansion and improvement of the Wallaby Park, which is set to continue until 2025. Sadly, we have no idea what the new coaster will be yet, but nevertheless, it's very exciting. Amanda Thompson, the managing director of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, also signed a contract, but with Mac. The park plans to put spinning seats on Icon, their multi-launch coaster, for spring of 2022. These will be placed on the final row of the trains, allowing a few guests to experience Icon, but with a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Rounding off my upper news is one more new roller coaster. Fireball is coming to Adventureland Long Island in 2022. The ride is a rollerball coaster from Ride Engineers Switzerland and will become the first of its kind in North America. Guests navigate a 2D layout moving forwards and backwards and up and down, all while their seats spin from left to right. Okay, breathe, that's just one part done. Now for some non-IAPA news. A few years ago, Tobu Zoo, a theme park in Japan, announced that their intimate wooden coaster, Regina, would close permanently in 2019. Well, it did close, but not permanently. The park recently revealed that they plan to revamp and reopen Regina in 2023. The coaster will get a new steampunk theme, as well as new trains, which should provide a smoother ride, at least according to the park. The attraction will also be fitted with new safety features to bring it up to standard. It's honestly fantastic to see this classic coaster be given a second chance at life. Some less normal news now. Here we go. Park Asterix in France needs your help to choose the new underwear for Zeus. <laughs> yes, give me a moment to break this down for you. Park Asterix has a statue of Zeus, which currently, if you look under his skirt thing, 
you'll see his underwear. <laughs> right, okay, here, yeah, interesting. It's true, Google it, Google Zeus Park Asterix. The park is giving people the chance to vote for their favorite underwear from a new selection. These include a cherry design, a lightning bolt design, <laughs> and duckies design. I mean, it has to be the duckies, right? That's not even a question. <laughs> Anyway, we're nearly there, people. Just a bit more theme park news to go. Right after slash during the end of IAPA, Disney began their D23 Expo. A whole list of things were shown off and announced throughout the Expo, but here are some of the most interesting parts. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. You know, that coaster Disney keeps talking about but never opens. Yeah, that's going to open in summer of 2022. Finally. Secondly, the Avengers campus being built at Disneyland Paris in France is set to debut in summer of 2022 also. The campus will open at Walt Disney Studios Park, the second and much more inferior Disneyland Park at Paris, hopefully making it better for everyone. The, the area will be home to a new ride, Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure, as well as a revamped version of Rock and Roller Coaster which will be themed to Iron Man. And finally, the most important news of all, Disney has built a real-life lightsaber. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what if it's real, but the light bit, you know, goes up and then back down all by itself. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Disney showed off their lightsaber on stage briefly, but sadly, guests won't be able to get their hands on one. Instead, it will be wielded by characters aboard the Halkion. I butchered that one. Someone, I can't remember how you say it. I don't really care. Disney's super immersive and super expensive Star Wars Hotel experience. So sad times if you want to hold the lightsaber, because you can't. There you go. We did it. What a week of theme park news it's been, huh? What was your favorite bit? And why was it Zeus's new underwear? Because, I mean, <laughs> that's the best bit, man. Please vote for duckies. Love duckies. It's great. <laughs>